Welcome to the second video in our series of high efficiency filter package videos. Today we will demonstrate the proper assembly and installation procedures so that you can get your filter packages installed quickly. To assemble the filter packages, you will need a Phillips screwdriver. Find the labeled pre-filters, joiner bracket, o-rings, and cover plate. If you have o-ring lube handy, apply some to each o-ring and place them into the round grooves on each side of the joiner bracket. Take the 5 micron pre-filter, ensuring the directional flow arrow on the label is pointing right, and slide the right side of the filter into the notches of the bracket as shown. Next, grab the 0.01 micron pre-filter with the differential pressure indicator on top, and slide the left side into the other notches of the bracket, ensuring the directional flow arrow is also pointing right. Finally, take the cover plate and set it on top of the joiner bracket, inserting the screw into the threads. Be sure to hold the filters firmly together as you tighten the screw, ensuring that the connection is tight. The direction of flow for both filters should indicate left to right as the labels show. For the after filter assembly, find the 0.5 micron after filter and mounting bracket with screws. First. Unlock the filter bowl by grabbing the base and twisting counterclockwise. Pull the bowl off, exposing the filter element. Taking the mounting bracket, line up the holes with the screw threads so that it lies flat against the underside of the filter. The mounting bracket should angle towards the filter element and bowl, as shown. Secure the bracket to the filter. Reinstall the filter bowl, ensuring the sight glass faces forward after tightening. If you have the regulator package option, assemble the regulator, after filter, 0 to 160 PSI gauge, joiner bracket and O-rings, and cover plate components. Using appropriate pipe thread sealant, tighten the gauge into the front regulator threads. Again, use lube on the O-rings if on hand, and set them into the grooves of the joiner bracket. Repeat the connection process shown earlier with the pre-filters, this time with the 0.5 micron after filter on the left, and the regulator on the right. Again, ensure both directional arrows also point from left to right. AirDryers.com's filter packages can be used on an array of desiccant dryers. We will be demonstrating how to directly mount the filters on our VSA series dryers. We will also offer you another wall mounting option for use with any desiccant dryer or our HR series dryer models. Start by removing the dryer mounting bracket. Ensure you have acquired the proper sized fittings or the particular filter kit you ordered. Using pipe thread sealant, install the pre-filter assembly into the air dryer inlet. Then install the after filter assembly into the air dryer outlet as shown here. Reattach the dryer bracket. Your dryer is now ready to be mounted on your airline. Proceed to mount the air dryer with filter assemblies to your desired location on your airline. We recommend installing an invisible location, ensuring the DP indicator is in view so you know when filter elements need replacing. Now we will demonstrate the alternative wall mounting procedure for filter packages. 
This type of mounting can be used with any desiccant dryer and is a popular option when using filter packages in conjunction with our HR series air dryers. After assembling the pre and after filters, find your desired location where your air dryer and filters will be mounted. Proceed by mounting the pre-filters directly to the wall at the end of your air inlet line, as shown here. The joiner bracket between the two filters also doubles as the wall mount. Ensure your dual pre-filters with the differential pressure indicator will flow into your dryer's inlet port. Confirm that the inlet air entering the pre-filters follows the correct directional flow arrows indicated on the filter labels. Follow the same steps to mount your after filter on the outlet air line. The last step will be to connect your filters to the dryer's inlet and outlet ports using proper air hose. You can also suspend your after filter down line from your dryer closer to your application point of use. Be aware that the filter elements have a lifespan of approximately 6 to 12 months depending on the type of compressor you are using. For detailed instructions on proper replacement of these elements, reference the third video of our filter package series. If you have any questions regarding high efficiency filter packages, contact us by calling 1-800-700-8537 or emailing us at sales at airdryers.com. Be sure to keep up to date on your dry compressed air knowledge by checking out our blog at airdryers.com slash blog.